The Embassy of Canada continues to be open, although we are only offering essential services at this time. This means that we are focused on supporting Canadians in need. Over the past 10 days, we've been able to help a number of Canadians from Serbia, but also from our two other countries of accreditation, from Montenegro and North Macedonia, return to Canada. We will continue to offer services to Canadians in distress who are still here. So that means that pretty much all other programs are, uh, are on hold for now. In order to keep our staff safe and healthy, uh, we've also asked that most uh, staff work from home. And of our staff who are considered essential, in other words, they need to be in the office and available to work, uh, we've now moved to a rotating schedule so that we have one team working one week, one team the other week, and this way we are limiting the amount of contact that we have with each other. But of course, we stay in touch with each other through email and through other uh, electronic tools. I must say I'm not used to having quite this much uh, private time at my disposal on, in the evenings and on, on weekends. Normally, of course, uh, living this life, there's so many events from national days to a whole range of, uh, of meetings and events and performances. Uh, usually uh, in March and April, I would be spending uh, many evenings attending the various performances of the Belgrade Dance Festival, for example. But of course, all of those things have had to be delayed or postponed. So since I'm spending so much time at home, it means that I am able to do lots more things with my family, which is a lovely thing. We're having more conversations, we're playing more games, uh, we're playing cards, uh, we're watching movies together. Uh, it also means that I'm having, uh, I have more time to, to read books, which is uh, also very nice. And uh, since we have had some lovely sunny days, I've been spending some time outside as well on our terrace. Uh, working in my in my my flower pots to try and uh, and help the plants that managed to survive through the winter to uh, to uh, grow again nicely this year. There are many things that I'm looking forward to doing once this crisis is finally over. First and foremost would be seeing our many friends in Belgrade in person. We can look forward to going out to restaurants since we haven't done that for a while, but also to having friends come visit us at home and just uh, spending time together. I'm looking forward to getting to the green market, to buying fresh fruits and vegetables that are now in season, as well as uh, buying some flowers to plant in the pots on my terrace. I'm looking forward to going on some nice walks uh, in Belgrade, in the, in the city centre, and feeling uh, that beautiful, uh, bustling city life again, but also getting, uh, getting out uh, for some walks in nature. And of course, I'm looking forward to doing more travelling again around the country.